G'day, how you going? Uh, didn't go out this weekend because it's bloody raining. So I thought I'd do a quick run through on point of view photography videos. How I make my point of view photography videos with Jerry. So I'm going to go through some of the easy ways of doing it. So some of the things that I use is a action camera. I've got the DJI Osmo. A chest strap, selfie sticks, sound options and various widgets and gadgets for the GoPro and sometimes I'll use a steady cam. The first thing I recommend is to go out and get those you know 50 to 1 GoPro accessories. You know those ones that you see on eBay 50, 50 in 1 GoPro accessories? Most of it's crap because it's not 50 accessories they count all the screws as uh, an accessory so that's why they get that number 50 which is all bullshit there's only about five or six things in there that are useful so the best way is to use the chest strap with those gopro accessories they're going to give you a chest strap but it's pretty flimsy and what happens is these things fall out they're not securely attached so when you're walking around that they come out and it's a pain in the ass trying to put them on too because you've got to put it on like a bra so so what I did, I quickly um, discovered to get the proper one the, from GoPro. So they call it the GoPro Chesty. And I found this one to be the best because uh, it's, it's full solid, it's well made, and it's tight around your body. So all you do is just attach it there on the front. So I just leave it a little bit loose so I can push it down, you know, maybe catch Jerry. There are three main things that you want to keep good. It's the one is the quality of the video, so that's 1080p and above. So if you want, and these action cameras all can do 1080p now. Number two, level. <laughs> Keep everything level, um, your horizons. The GoPro 9, if you get that, apparently that's got software inside that keeps it all level. Apparently it's, it's full on, it's, uh, it's full on actually. I've, had, I've seen on the videos. Uh, this one doesn't do it, uh, but there is rock steady, of course, that keeps the sta stabilization. But you can never get around, you know, your boobs move up and down, your hands are reaching out, and it's always going to go left and right. In all my videos I've done so far, for some reason, it's always a little bit tilted. I can never get it right. I think because mainly because you're, you're outstretched, you know, with your camera and you know, you're moving like that all the time and it's gonna shift on your bra. What I do then is I, in post, I adjust, I adjust it back to a hor level horizon. Number three, the most important, sound. <laughs> Everyone bangs on about sound and sound quality. I don't really care too much about the quality of the sound, it's the wind. Every video that you watch on YouTube, as soon as there's wind, bang it's a it's a real it's really annoying it just takes away from the experience hey what are you doing you snuck up on me so where was i sound i've tried a few different things uh, i'll probably go for a wireless approach but even that i found that there's batteries involved and stuff i just found this way to be the easiest and it's this <laughs> a sock so you can get them for like five bucks or ten bucks on 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 china bay so it just goes over the top and what that's doing is it's covering the microphones there and there. There's two microphones. And it's a nice snug fit. When it's, a, when it's there, attached like that, if it's a full on blizzard, um, even the, the dead cats, the tribbles, they're going to let sound through as well, no matter how many, you know, how, no matter how big your triple is. That and that, that's it. <laughs> that's the number one way that I do it. <laughs> Jerry, you think we're going for a photo walk, do you? No, we're not going, Jerry. So, there. I know, it looks a bit stupid. I mean, I do get a few funny looks. You know, I've got my, my man bra on when I'm walking around, but so what? And that's it. So now I'm walking around, bada bing, bada bang, you know, like that. So, hello, Jerry, you know, like that. That's, I, I found that's the, the easiest and the most 
unobtrusive way of do, of um, going out on a walk, especially with a dog uh, and taking photos. There's a quick button here, bang like that, and you just go bang on and then bang set it off. And if you set it up in your favorites to always go to, I use uh, 60 frames per second um, at 1080p. Hey, you snuck up on me again, Jerry. <laughs> so, that's number one way of doing it. The only downfall with that is the level. Like I said before, when you're going like that, it's not gonna be level. Now, another way that's a little bit less um, obvious to what you're doing is to strap it onto your body. So, um, those 50-in-1 gadgets, that comes with this full-on, full-on thingamajig. Jerry. No, Jerry. Just use it, attach it to the strap of your of your uh, man bag. Now, this is all I take with me. I bought that big bag. I never use it. Because micro four thirds, man. You, you know, walking around, you just need small little cheap canvas bag. I show you. So that holds all my gear. Go as straight as you can, like that. Now this, it's a bit weird. You gotta put it upside down, but that's all right. The DJI, it does, it knows. I think there's an auto setting for orientation and it knows that it's upside down and it straightens it up again. And then just remember which side. So now my left hand, bang, start recording. So walking around like that, not too bad. Um, I've tried it out. Bit, it's a bit, it's worse than the chesty because it, it's way more all over the place and, and the stabilization is not that great, but it's, it's doable. Start recording. Start recording. There you go. Stop recording. Bang. Easy. Another option? Yes, Jerry, I know this is a stupid way, but it's... All right. Now, you look like a complete knobhead with that on your head like that. You see that? Jerry, am I a knobhead, Jerry, or what? You see that? And then just go like that and <laughs> that's gonna no nah, yeah dickhead hey Jerry huh but does the trick <laughs> a little bit heavy when you're walking uh, it's a lot of bouncing because it's not the center of gravity there it's on top of your head and it's not the best anyway that's a stupid way of doing it another way I'm telling you, all these gadgets, I don't use them, but one day maybe I could, is to use a head strap, which is a bit more sturdy. Oh, that's bloody tight. Oh, Jesus. You see what I mean? Oh, for crying out loud. All right, now this makes me look like even more of a knobhead. And then and like that. And then you see there, <laughs> you see that? You can, and then yeah, like that, L. All right, now you can do that way. Now another way of doing it is to put your GoPro uh, DJI on top of your camera like that. That's more of a subtle way of doing it. You need to get one of these little hot shoe, cold shoe things. It doesn't come in the bloody pack. I have to buy that separate. Get, get one of these uh, things, it's in the pack. This one isn't, it's a little hot shoe. Typical, 50 bloody items and they don't include that. Like that. And then that goes into your hot shoe. There you go. So now that is another solution. It kind of looks like you got a you know screen on there. You can put external mics on the DJI uh, by adding that there a road mic or you can have a lapel 
attached to it. Yeah, I did a video, go look at that. Uh, there's another little gadget by Yulanzi. Put this on top of it like that. There, and there's another hot shoe on top. Or you can put a light on top if you want to do filming. Like this one. So, put the light on top and you've got yourself the bloody Leaning Tower of Pisa here. <laughs> so that's one way of filming yourself, you know, while you're taking photos. Actually, one advantage of this way is that you don't get your hands in the way. You know, you're looking exactly what you're seeing. You know, where you're pointing the camera and where you're taking the photo is exactly what you're seeing. And if you go like that up to your eye, you know, you can even see. For, for a good point of view, that's actually a good way of doing it. When I want to flip around and do um, me talking to the camera, sometimes I bring this with me. It's just another pain in the ass carrying it around, but it's got a little thing like that. So it's good for doing one of those, you know, walk, walk on by type shots, um, or you can go like that. But I found that, um, yeah, with your hand, with your hand, it's good enough. As long as you've got the rock steady stabilization on, it's pretty good just with your hand. And then you just chuck it in the pocket like that. You know, you're walking around. Hey, Jerry, you know, stop doing a poo. Bang. Take a photo. Take a photo of Jerry doing a poo. You know, go like that. Uh. Now, for, for ultimate stability, you can't go past a gimbal. Um, I made a video. Go check that out. It's good for, in the video, you'll see... Um, it's actually really good for sports, you know, especially running with Jerry when Jerry's running. Um, I'm catching awesome, you know, shots and footages. Anyway, that's just an intro. That's just a little guide, a few ways that I do my videos. Um, the reason I made this video today is because I couldn't go out on a photo walk. Hey, Jerry, it's been raining. So that's why I thought I'd fill it in with just to show a few people, um, just to show if anyone's interested how I do it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Jerry, you say goodbye. Yes. Uh, I'll catch you later. Mwah.